Welcome to another daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. So we're going to continue our learning on blending and we're going to use the same information from last time. So you're probably going to remember the two spreadsheets and I hope you still have the two models. So we have the customers by country and the orders. Now this time what we want to do is we want to create calculations that go across both models. So we're going to go and actually create the story based on the same models that we created in the first part. So we go in and actually set up a table. And we're going to use the customer by country model first. So as you can see, we basically have the information and we put the customer into the rows. And we're going to choose to show the discount as well. So we also can add a calculation in our case, such as net revenue. That is basic steps in SAP Analytics Cloud. We simply choose the elements we want, set up the calculation. We're only using one model so far. We also can then go in and actually set up the linked dimensions like we did in the first blending part. So we have customer by country and then orders by customer. And we're going to join these two models based on the customer ID. And also remember, we have to add the linked model to our table and we're going to have to add the account dimension from the second model to our table. So now we can create a calculation. But now we can add the calculation that goes across both models. And it's in the same way as you can add a calculation before. In our case, we want to use the revenue and the order value and add them up. So all what we have to do is we have to go Add a calculation, select the model that we want to use to start with, but this does not limit you. So you can use calculated measures and then simply type and you can see, you can choose the elements from both models. So you will actually be shown also the measures from the second model, as you can see here, and you can see the name of the model is shown as part of actually the measure name. We give it a quick title and then we can save the calculation and we created a calculation that goes across both models. Our scenario is relatively simply because we show the customer and we join on customers. So next time we're going to take a scenario where we have to pay close attention to aggregations and when values are being aggregated. Again, thank you for watching and listening.